and welcome back we have so many quests now it's just whew. we have so much to do i don't even know but first off i think we should just get our stuff back this hairy bear seems to be like a very important place so we should go there and it's it's even putting separate quests for everybody here about being suspect, so... <laughs> oh my god. You killed the cockatrice. On behalf of King Faltest, I grant you an official pardon. Finally, this absurdity is over. Take your belongings from the trunk before I sell them. And mm -hmm. remember the reward on the cockatrice's head. Vincent gets very excited about trophies. Ah, I can finally relax. I'll inspect what we've confiscated here. Hmm. Good quality gear. Mm hmm. Uh. Wow. Yeah. Whew. I think we're gonna go to that hairy bear. Oh my god, no! Um, shit. Well. Meh. I can't, okay. <laughs> it's a, damn, it's strong! What's strong? None of your business. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Why was the professor released from prison? He has powerful friends. Let that be a warning. Don't annoy those more powerful than you. I should be like the city guards. Release criminals whenever someone shakes a coin pouch. <laughs> hey, you're still under observation. Besides, someone bailed him out. Completely legal. Who was this benefactor? No idea. Money was transferred from Vivaldi's Dwarven Bank. Mm. Impossible to trace. Drop it. I could get into trouble talking like this. Got a cold? <laughs> You're pretty green. Not so green I don't know the best way to take Fistek. Fold back your skin and rub. Oh. Oh. Where? Where you can fold back your skin. Oh my god. <laughs> if you buy Fiztech from Coleman at the Hairy Bear, don't say I sent you. Coleman, hmm? I have questions. Ask. Know anything about this salamander prisoner? Why would I tell you? <laughs> the captain would kill me. Maybe I can persuade you. Powder would help. Mm-hmm. I have questions. Ask. If Foltest put a reward on the professor's head, he must detest Salamandra. It's not royal gold. Privately funded. Interesting. There's also payments for Salamander badges taken from dead bandits. Oh. Who is this philanthropist? I can't tell you, but the sponsor's representative spends his evenings at the tavern. I'll check it out. <laughs> I don't... I don't think we picked up any... Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. Insane. It is said that you can even buy the illegal drug Fistek here, provided you can find a dealer named Coleman. Golem Vivaldi is a dwarf who's very touchy about his race. The Vivaldis are financiers, and one of their banks is located in Vesima's trade quarter. The money for the professor's bail came from Vivaldi's bank. That's how the criminal walked free. Fistek is an illegal narcotic that is used widely in Tamaria. It takes the form of a white powder and is highly addictive. It can be manufactured only by professionals with the use of complicated alchemical equipment. Indeed. Well, I don't think I can do anything more here. It feels like we should be get we should get going to um Oh wow, look at all these quests. Yeah, I have to get to some Fistek farm. We should go to this hairy bear, I guess. Seems to be the best option. Right now. Because all the others are like, kill this, kill that. Gravedigger. 
Yeah, he wanted dog pelts or something. Oh my god. No, we have to go straight to the hairy bear because we have so much stuff. Am I supposed to... Huh? What was that? I'm sorry, doggy. Huh? What? What is that thing? Holy crap! Oh no! Oh my god, why did I do that? Uh, well... Away, Flint. What is it like a... It looks like a vampire thingy. <laughs> it's so technical. On my terms. I'm sorry, doggy. How many dog towels did I need? I feel really bad for killing those dogs, yo. Uh, there. Six pots. Okay. Where are they? Where? There. Three. Three more. <gasps> Feel bad as it is. Around that corner, something moved. Mm -hmm. Likely monsters again. And let's make our way there, Bouncer. Hmm. Incredible. The Zima boasts a bad neighborhood. Where? Where am I going again? Oh, man. It's a, probably everything just goes around in a circle somehow anyway. Well. <sighs> Don't judge me. Luckily. <laughs> uh. Oh, maybe we can fight some guys again here now. Who's there? Me. Just a witcher. Just. Geralt, greetings. Oh. What happened? A show of force. They smashed a window and packed three bolts in Coleman's gut. Uh. Used dispersive bolt heads. A have car speciality. And highly illegal. Who killed him? Damn Scoyato. Oh. No folk will call him a good man, saying how he helped old ladies. I sense a pogrom approaching. The damn shits drew up a list of enemies, and they've begun eliminating them without regard for the consequences. Why Coleman? Anger? Revenge? Some elven youth probably overdosed. A note on one of the bolts read, White Death Trader. He was selling Fistech to kids. Cheaper than anyone else. And you know how addictive it is. I'm surprised they acted in town. They feel strong now they've got arms. Some fool did business with them. I suspect Haran Brog. Oh, terrible times. Shit. Fragmenting tip. Enters the stomach as one, exits the back as three, mincing the internal organs. Hawker's specialty. Useless against armored soldiers, the tips burst on the surface of even the lightest armor. They're used to kill civilians, for show, as a cruel warning. I know where the weapons that killed Coleman came from. I need to avoid those situations, remain neutral, not get involved. Well, oops. Uh, to be honest, I don't care. 
honestly, they kind of... <laughs> they kind of kill the bad guy anyway, so... Me. Me. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You run away <laughs> from a circus? No. Still a member. <laughs> but I hear they're looking for you. Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? I need to store stuff. I should probably sell all these things. Don't know. Hmm. I, yeah, I'm gonna just try to sell all these things that I don't need. I already had one of those. Gold, diamond, guard it up. Gonna sell that. Oh, they're different, I see. How much booze am I supposed to bring? Actually, I think we're gonna sell that, and there's some more valuables. I'm gonna sell those stupid skulls. We need that for the quest, and we didn't have any other, so that's fine. Eh. Maybe we'll just take that with us. Chase bombs. Get rid of that. No, do I need to keep these on me? Maybe I'll just... I don't see a reason why I should bring all those um, gifts and stuff. I mean, at the moment, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with them just yet. I'm just gonna bring all the booze that I have. Huh, that's perfect. I have two of those. Huh? <gasps> uh, jeez. Yes, no, I am not keeping track of anything right now. I'm gonna sell all those valuables and we have all those I think we have to keep with us. What ifs, we say? What ifs? Why a dried fruit? Damn it! Hmm. Whatever you do, don't bet on the boxing. It's rigged. What do you want? With Coleman dead, who will sell me fist tech? <laughs> know the salamanders? They often carry fist tech. But you didn't hear that from me. Well, that doesn't help me. What's with all this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wager on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. Wow. Any rooms? Five orans. Uh, no. No. I'll pass. As you wish. So long. Uh, let's see here. Can we find anyone interesting around here? We wonder. What's oh, a room? Hello. Hello. Fancy a meal? Or have you another reason for coming? What other reason? There's mm -hmm. a comfortable bed out back. <gasps> wow. What'll it be? <laughs> this girl's. I mean, these girls. Hmm. Well, no. Made Let's go out back. <laughs> I was jesting. Ugh. My man would tear off my head if I went with you. Maybe we should risk it. No. He beat me so badly recently I spit <gasps> out a tooth. What the hell? Anything interesting happening here? Boys fight each other. Some wager on the outcome. Sometimes they beat up visitors. Altogether boring. <laughs> Bye. What was I supposed to do? I don't know. You were supposed to go out back with me, but you didn't want to. The guards are preparing around it. King Faltus to raise customs you again. again. What you want, freak? I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. freak. One word, and before you count to three, you'll be facing a dozen hardened assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. 
<laughs> well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for wet work. Hmm. I'll think about it. Relax. A rhetorical question. I know how you handle the Provost and the Mishlat Brothers crew. I'll answer your questions. As a token of goodwill. What do you do? <laughs> I'm the king of the underworld, Wolf. Horrors, thieves, murderers. They all answer to me. Come and see me when you need work. Hmm. Ah, uh, how's things? Old whores have wings. <laughs> Beat it, Witcher. Okay. I met Ramsmeet, the leader of a gang from the Temple Quarter. He didn't make a good impression. I think the feeling was mutual. Yeah, he was weird. He was weird. Why would you... I mean... Why would you even put booze in those barrels? Oh, whatever. Um, I don't want to kill the dog in here. I saw a full test. I heard serious troubles for one who has sex. I barely escaped some creatures last night. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, here we go. Your mother sized wolf cock. What? What? You an experienced fist fighter? Smacked a few. Why? I defeated Fat Fred, so I'm looking for another opponent. You take issue with fat folk? <laughs> no. You fighting or are you running home to Mama? What's the wager? 75 arons. Wow. Yeah. I'm in. Butter bean. Oh, sweetie. You lost. Let's be cocky about it. <laughs> next, next. I'm saying double. Oh. I win. Choose two bottles of mandrake cordial, a golden necklace, or 150 orange. The necklace. Here. Thanks. Now we just need to find someone who will. We'll buy all of this stuff. I think we talked to everybody in here. Yeah, stronger opponents. Salamander have a, have drugs with them. Oh, okay, yeah, well. So I have to kill some... Kill some of them, I guess. I don't think they're gonna hand it to me freely. Oh, well, look at my sword on the loading screen. No, 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 no. Okay. Who goes there? Mm -hmm. Let me guess. What's that? This is our territory. Run. <laughs> this is our territory. Run. And back to the blueberries. Oh, sorry. This is our territory. Run. I can't meditate with a fire. Damn. Out. Seems I have to light it first. <laughs> I'm afraid to shoot the fire when they're standing there. <laughs> this is our territory. Run. I can probably find first place I look. Well, hi guys. <laughs> I didn't take your money. What are you talking about? Why can't I use this fire? <gasps> I guess not. Somebody was calling you down from one of those dark alleys. Mm-hmm. But they did, but they did. Damn, Looking for adventure. Thing. Looking for snuff. Go by the inn. Yeah, no, that guy died. Haven't you heard? Well a bird bird. Seriously, I I, I usually find I used to find them everywhere. Against non humans. Well, what do you freaking know? All these propaganda books. It's insane. 
No, look at our inventory, that's crazy. It was then that the elven wise men called the sages gathered, gathered in the dungeon beneath the Rainhold castle. The eldest of them said, the day and the hour have come. We're discuss- didn't we read this already? Bye. I I think we read it. Jeez, jeez, guys, jeez. Well, I took a wrong turn and. Um, mm hmm. Mm. Didn't this Vincent Mace mention something about the that place? Lara's gift. Oh. Why can't I use these fires? It's <laughs> infuriating. Um, but even please, okay, based on the elven fairy tales, but even please and in, but even please and invocations didn't soften the stone hearts of the do, do in a, uh, uh, the cruel and the merciless humans. And then Lara grabbed the carried carriage door begging for mercy not for herself but for her child the queen ordered a thug to swing his sword cutting her fingers off jeez the winter cold set in that night and on a hill amidst woods laura drew her last breath while giving birth to her daughter whom she protected with the warmth that was left in her body and even though night winter and blizzard were all around springtime suddenly came to the hill and the Fain weds of flowers bloomed. In this day, those flowers are found in only two places. The valley of Dol Blathana and on the hill where Lara, Doran, Ipes. Oh, okay, that's terrible. That's terrible. The elves tell the story of Lara Doran and Cregan of Lod, an elven sorcerer and a human wizard, the legendary lovers who formed the first union between the two races. Elves claimed this relationship proved that peaceful coexistence between the races was possible, at least until humans treacherously killed the wizard and banished Lara. Thus, according to the elves, human hostility, possessiveness and aggression were first demonstrated. These barbarian qualities make coexistence with humans impossible, and so the lover's tragic end triggered a war that continues to this day. A famous pair of lawyers who ran a firm in Dorian until both partners died tragically under mysterious circumstances. At its height, the firm was retained by people from all over Temeria. If someone had difficulties, troubles, problems, they went to Codringir and Fenn. So the firm's clients quickly received proof of dishonesty and malpractice by their business partner. They could count on receiving credit from the bank without insurance or security. As one of a long list of creditors, they would be the only one to exact what was due from the company declaring bankruptcy. Their son would be released from the dungeons and cleared of all charges based on either irrefutable evidence or a lack thereof, because if evidence existed it disappeared mysteriously while witnesses retracted any earlier testimony. The wife's lover or the daughter's suitor would suffer complicated fractures in three limbs including at least one upper one, all as a result of unfortunate accidents, and an enemy with a grudge or some other troublesome individual would soon stop being a nuisance, often vanishing into thin air. That's how Codringer and Fenn worked. The Order of the Flaming Rose was established after the war with Nilfgaard by a charismatic leader, Jacques de Aldersberg, on the foundations of the deteriorating Order of the White Rose. The Aldersberg's aim was to protect the people from the monsters and other evils and to promote belief in the eternal fire. The Order's headquarters are located in Vesima, with numerous commanderies spread across the whole of Temeria. Whew, seriously, this reading. And no plint. Ah, uh, maybe I just have to go and pay the five Oren. Let's do that. That's like easier. Did we pick up some book earlier? Oh yeah, no. We, we got that. <laughs> Damn. Any five.
11. Well... Acceleration. Maybe we should invest a little more in this science. And let's pop that up a bit. There, incineration, right? Oh, something. Uh, that and um, hop that up a bit. Blinding, I don't know. It's knocked down. <gasps> it's probably one of these other ones here. Eh. One more. No, uh, yeah, let's do that. That one. Bindweed, what was that? Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know. Let's do that. Let's see here. We still have so much to do. Uh, stronger opponents. Talk to the gambler. Alright, sure. We have to talk to Kolkstein. He apparently had something to do with... more than he wanted to let on. Well, I can't do much more here, so let's get out. It's still night. Oh. Five. Well, hello. Care to relax a little, handsome? Oh. I don't know. Depends. Hmm? I'm open to suggestions. Let's talk. All right, we'll chat. But I'm counting on more. Surprise me. We know so little about love. It's like a pear, sweet and shapely. But try describing that shape without saying pear. Rather saying at the top, plump at the bottom. I don't know, I'm giving up. <laughs> uh. I'm no poet, but I can tell a peach when I see one. A charmer? <laughs> If this conversation carries on, I'll want some of that fruit. <laughs> oh. Any work for a witcher? Some men are troubling my girls. Take care of it and we'll compensate you. Generously. Mm-hmm. I'll see what I can do. Where can I find these men? There are three places they frequent at night. Mark them on my map. Okay, oh well, my. yeah. I met Carmen, a prostitute from Visima slums. All the locals trumpets value her opinion, and it could be said that Carmen is their representative. Sure. Um. Little. Well, we can, we could head up that way, I suppose. I don't think there's much more we can do around here right now. Mhm. <laughs> Hmm. Oh god, I'm getting freaking... Yeah. I am not gonna waste my money on them because... Guess what? I can get it for free. <laughs> uh. Of course. 